Hey there guys, and this is me back with another Let's Play, and this is Medieval 2 Total War. Now this is the base game, uh, I know there is an expansion uh, pack to it, which I do actually have, but it works a little differently. So I'm just going to play the, the base game. And I'm going to play, a, basically the, the real, you can play other battles, like historical battles, but generally the main game is the grand campaign here. And you only start out with the fir these first uh, five um, factions normally, but <clears throat> I went and got all of them. And that is all the factions that you can control in the game. Um, right, so I'll go through them. There's England, and you can see it highlights their territory they have. England, France, Holy Roman Empire, Spain, Venice, Sicily, Milan, Scotland, I'm probably going to go, Byzantine Empire, Russia, Moors, the Turks, Egypt, Denmark, Portugal, Poland, and Hungary. So yeah, Scotland, uh, I am Scottish, but the reason I am going them is they are kind of isolated up here in the top left corner. Which is quite good, and besides, yeah. They are one of the... One of the... The weakest factions in the game, actually, considering... Because their units are kind of not that great, apart from some of them. So I'm going to play a medium on both, even though I probably could play on hard, or... I could probably play on hard, but I'm going to leave it at <laughs> medium. I'm going to play a long campaign, so this is going to take a while, because 45 regions, including Jerusalem, which is like all the way over here. And yeah, so Scotland makes excellent use of spears and pikes, and lacking in cavalry is his weakness. And I manage all cities, and no battle time limit. And turn advice off, and I think we're ready to go. And I'll mute myself for this video. Scotland remains at the mercy of the English. For though its people are strong-willed and defiant, they face a daily struggle against subjugation. Despite this, these courageous people fight for a future where they are at the mercy of no one. Scottish, to fight is to survive. To shake off the shackles of oppression requires a mighty hero to unite the clans and forge an empire. So yeah, that was uh, the intro, and it's it's pretty generic, and it will change for the other factions and basically be the same video, I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I played this, but the reason I'm playing this is Total War is one of my favorite strategy game series, so yeah. I'm a king. So I'm going to try and explain as much as I can to people who have maybe not played this uh, these games, although I, though I assume that I some people have. So first thing I'm going to do is you can have mu units on the map, you can move them. I have an I army can. here, an army here. An can, enemy can to crush. There you go. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Two armies and a I navy can. and a priest yes, your Majesty. or a cardinal. A spy to and a diplomat first. Lord. So I'm going to first go service. down here. Yes, sire. And these these grey villages are rebel villages. You see, they're English rebels, and up here it should be Scottish rebel. I don't know. It says English rebels as well for some reason. It should be Scottish rebels. I don't get that. Oh well. And uh, as you can tell by the border here, the red and yellow. This is England's territory down here. But 
our first uh, mire to take care of is uh, taking care of these uh, villages here. So I'm actually going to bring this ship round, and you can build different buildings uh, here. <clears throat> so I'll build a port in Edinburgh, and I'll recruit some guys. And first thing I'll do is I'll bring my king out. Here. And I'll bring uh, the person who was original, we didn't hear uh, the place in here. Generally you want to have a governor in a city to make it run better. So I have a spy here who has a chance of spying on this York village here, the rebel village. So 50% chance to success, I don't really care if he dies. I thought it would be a bit annoying, the first move, you know. So you see these mov movies which are often just very silly. And it looks like he's dead. He's pretty dead. Alright, that didn't work out. Um, as well as I thought it would. Okay. Command me. Well, now we're going to take a bit of revenge Aye, for that. Sir. So I'll bring. Do you have what? any? Right. Okay. My king. Aye. Where's the fight? Right. I Bring you two down there, and March. you can go over Set there. Watches. York the isn't very well defended with five. So hopefully those are um, everyone I sent Aye, there sir. was enough. Move here, I'll send the everyone else army, here sir. and the go attack Inverness, we but not I reach it this turn, fortunately. To you, and the priest's job is to get Catholicism up in regions. You can see how much there is by mousing over 96. So I'll just put him in Watch Edinburgh for now. Oops. <clears throat> so, I only start with one city, so I don't no really need to do command. that much, and An that's pretty much the first turn over. Oh wait, uh, no, yes, I know I did move him in, but uh, no, I don't really want to do anything else. So, end turn. And there's one thing I should note for people who have actually played these games before, is I slightly edited something um, in the text files. Generally when you end your turn, it goes... Um, forward two turns I think normally I changed it so every time I pressed it it would go forward one turn so generally it would be 225 turns remaining instead of 450 but I generally like to take it a little slower so I set it to one so yeah the game will go a little slower than normal but you know I prefer it that way so that's the, that's, that is the only thing that I did change them so end turn and it it's really fast <laughs> to get back to uh, your turn, so I'm going to go around there with my fleet, and here's the next thing. <clears throat> when you come to a, a castle with walls, or some place with walls, you need to build siege weapons. And you can uh, build these siege weapons by just clicking, and it shows you how many build points you have and how many... Yeah, if I had three rams, it would take two turns to build them, but since I only have two, um, it will only take one turn. And I'm only going to use one... I'll bring two, actually, just in case Are the first one breaks. Aye, Captain. York down here is undefended. It's kind of just a village Come with no walls, me. so... I should be good My on king. this side. Where's the fight? One thing I will show you is um, recruiting... Mercenaries, you can double click and recruit a mercenary, but they're generally like very expensive. So I'll buy one Welsh spearman and that'll be it. And then I'll attack. And we can uh, assault and have our first our first fight. Which I shouldn't even really be bothered fighting, but I will just to show you the first fight because this will be easy, so I say. But it should be. So, Total War is kind of the more 
slow paced of uh, strategy RPG, well, strategy games. But, right, you can group other uh, units together by doing control and then a number. So I'm going to have all my infantry. Um, I'll actually do this a little differently. Um, what should I do here? Three. Right. I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm going to keep... Because uh, you can deploy anywhere in this blue area. So I'm going to take... Um, come on, don't line up like that. There we go. I'm going to take those guys over there. Because one of the problems in this game is that it's easy for you, your uh, units to get clogged up in areas. So generally I want to try and attack from as many directions as possible. So I'll put the cavalry on here. And do do do. What we got left here, we got these two. And some archers. Right. So we started the battle and are they coming out? You see they're all in this square right now. Not that way, jeez. There we go. And I'll move in from here with my other guys. Right there. Yeah, I'm kind of setting them up. So they got some spearmen, some archers, two two groups of archers, light infantry, some more archers. Right, they got three archers. Oh no, 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 that was light infantry. Sorry. Kind of hard to see. Okay, they have one archers or two archers. A light infantry, two light infantry, and a spearman. Right, okay, that's fine. And I should be marching forward with these guys. Probably these guys as well. And they're starting to fire, which is not good. Cavalry will generally cut these guys down really easily. And they're starting to charge now. But if you can get them attacking archers or places on their uh, flank, then you'll do a lot of damage that way. Like, for example, if I get the, some of these cavalry to attack, and the others to attack the other ones over there. Now here's your general, the one with the, the yellow star, and they can rally. As you can see, these guys are running away because they're routing, because, you know, my strategy is awesome like that. No. It's just because I uh, planned out the flanking pretty well in this case. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that good at this game, which is why I'm playing it on um, medium. Now, you want to stop using your archers Our when you get close to the enemy, because they will injure your own guys, and of course you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to get these knights to pull away and actually go and charge into the back of these peasants. See? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. The Welsh spearmen are probably not that good at actually fighting. You see they're kind of clustered there at the back, unfortunately. Mm. 
Now you want to make sure your your um, your general here doesn't get killed. So bringing his units back is kind of a good idea. Um, come on, attack these guys. It does the take a while for the AI no to. Honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Ah, my lord. Our men are in control of the city. You can win by taking control of the city square oh for... We have lost control of it. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard them well, so we can watch us defeat the rest of his army. You can see there how many enemies we've captured. Which are generally enemies I that are right in... Our men have taken control of the city. So generally we've killed, and here's the meter that shows how many we've killed, 91%. So generally that went pretty well, I would say. I done decent enough for the first fight. And I never actually used the speed up button at all there. I'll just go and use that now, because... It's gonna... Last guy. All of Christendom will be in awe of the victory. Sound weird with the sound there. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh well, I won't worry about it. So clear victory. We killed all their guys and we captured 51, including their general. Which doesn't really matter because they are rebels. But if it wasn't our army, you, uh, belonging to our faction, you could ransom them for some money. But now we've pretty much taken control of York there. Which is a village with no walls, so it wasn't as interesting as it could have been, Your but... foes lie dead at my feet, sire. These people now kneel Now, he here's... Sire. When you take over a village, um, you have three options. Occupy, which moves you in and uh, doesn't kill anyone, and you do gain some money. Sack, which usually gives you quite a lot of money, but you do kill some of the population and exterminate, which kills most of the population, but it will mean that they won't uh, rebel very often. So I'm going to occupy, try and be a good guy, and you see a trait decrease here, because this guy is normally a cruel leader, and I'll go over this. Oh god, so much to go over. Right. Generally, commanders like this guy, they have command, which is how, how well they can lead an army. They have either dread or chivalry, which means how uh, nice or cruel the person is. Generally, they both give bonuses, so it's not like it really matters, though I like to have generals with chivalry, because I don't know. <coughs> Loyalty is how much they will be willing to go before they don't betray you. Or if they will be bribed, then they will betray you, or something like that. Piety is uh, the religious stuff, which comes into play when you're getting um, attacked by the Pope or something like that. Which does happen, believe me. Well, it's not like it is the Pope. It's Inquisitor or something. I, I can't remember exactly. But, yeah. So, every general will have loyalty, and your main guy... This guy over here, for me, will have authority, which uh, helps you govern your country, basically. I'm gonna buy some crossbows, actually. <coughs> These guys are missiles as well. Ah, they're not that expensive, I'll take them as well. Generally, mercenaries are not that good past the early game. Because you have to pay upkeep for every um, unit you do train. And they'll get merchant as well. Can these I guys take. reach? Aye, aye. Forward. They can. And you I'm see that yellow face is uh, happiness. Yellow means they won't really do anything, they're just content, but you better watch out for that. And I took York, which was one of my missions, so I get 2,500 florins. <sighs> that was a lot explaining. I, now, here's some English guys who were racing for York as well, you so I'm going to go and proposition ask for trade rights for some money, because it says generous down there, so maybe I can get some money. Maybe 700 is pushing out well. 
I'll make the offer. You hold us at ransom. Well, they and did you give me 700 it. for trade rights. And trade Until rights basically you increase your money as well. So that's pretty nice. Of course, I'll send sir. this guy down here for now. Move, Even though to get over to France, I'll need a boat. But I have one. I'll wait until this place is built a port, and then I can buy some uh, some more ships. And I'll build a land clearance next, which gives food and farm production. Jeez, that was a lot of talking. Okay. So another thing we want to do this turn is attack. Oh, no, I have to I have to wait before I attack, obviously. Forgot that I'm still uh, taking over that place, but this shouldn't be a problem, you can tell. Um, so I'll just end my turn now, I think, or maybe. Um, Your Highness. Yeah, I'll keep uh, the priest in Edinburgh for now. Do do do. Hi, my lord. So these things that come up on the side are the stuff that basically happening. You can see the balance of power and where I am, which is like pretty terrible right now. But we'll try and change that for this campaign. Your profits, etc. Loyalty. Okay, cool. The guy in here, he has gained one loyalty. His loyalty was already pretty high, but basically every general has a lot of traits and stuff that they'll get. I won't go into them too much. So ships there, because now have a port, Aye. which is here. Aye, Captain. So Aye, I'll, I'll get up a, a navy, because you might Aye, get okay. uh, yes, assaulted by uh, pirates. There's the English places. Uh, I'll do a quick little save here, which I probably won't need to do before I attack. Okay guys, so I'm back, because uh, that actually crashed me to this though, when I uh, tried to invade Inverness there. I guess my computer is just too awesome for this game or something. But I was saying how this battle would be more interesting, because there was actually walls. And I'm not going to fight every... Uh, fight if it's not going to be interesting. I'll probably auto resolve some of them, which you can do. You can just click auto resolve and it'll give you your your result. So I'm going to group everyone up here, especially these archers who are all going over here, or missile units, I should say, because one of them I think throws javelins. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, go, and the rest will be three. Basically, I want to attack with the rams and then attack with everyone else. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to put everyone in loose formation. Actually, yeah. Then sit loose, okay. So they won't get hit by uh, enemy fire so much. I'll go ask to uh, archers to go attack there. I'll bring the other ram over here. Because this one may, may get damaged. Bring these guys over here, and these guys 